I'd like to call to order the Penn Traffic School District School Board meeting of October 13th. I should have had my watch out a clock out already at 7.05. Let's start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Here. Mr. Koshko. Mr. Leonard. Here. Mr. Newell. Mr. Newell. Here. Mr. Nemec. Here. Mr. Petrucci. Here. Mr. Stovar. Dr. Trey. Here. You have a quorum now. Thank you. Um, may I have a motion to approve the minutes of September 8th? So moved. Motion by Mr. Petrucci. Second. Second by Mr. Schaff. Question. Question being called for. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Motion carried. Thank you. Um, turn it over to Dr. Harris for information. All right, thank you, Mrs. Zaysen. Um, I have two um, pieces of information I want to share, kind of updates from last week. Uh, last week, when Mr. Petrucci gave us the updates on the career in tech, we had some questions that he did go back and find the answers to those. Do you want me to share it? Well, okay, I, uh, I did. I, I called and. Um, okay, good. Great. Sure. Um, basically, he found out that the solar and wind energy studies are incorporated into the electrical program. Currently, we don't have enough space to institute a drilling program, but we are looking at different options. Okay, I'll just add to that. I, I, I pursue the drilling program myself because I have the Marcellus Shell situation. And we have a gold mine in western Pennsylvania, and West Virginia, and the western part of uh, New York, and the eastern part of Ohio. And I thought it'd be significant, but you have to have a, a nice piece of property to, to have that for instruction. And uh, we don't have much property. We're possibly thinking about it, but I told you that. Right now, we're thinking about getting cosmetology for ventilation purposes corrected. And after we get that corrected, then we'll decide about the drilling. But uh, until that time, we, we were going to have an entire energy program with solar and uh, with wind and also with the drilling process. But uh, right now, finances. So that's why we just incorporated solar and wind with electrical. Thank you. Um, also, on last Thursday, Kerry Hedrick is our athletic director. He was in inducted into the Pennsylvania Sports Hall of Fame, the East um, Boroughs chapter, and several of the administrators went down, and it was a very nice ceremony, and it was a very um, great honor for Carries. It was great that he was inducted. We have information on our website, but it was also great that I know Mr. Sullivan, Mr. Cap, he also, Mr. Inglaze, Mr. Quilla, Mr. Saracini, Officer Myers, Mr. Simpson, and myself, we all went down to um, support him. So it was a great evening out, and. Like I said, Carrie Hedrick works very hard overseeing all the different athletic um, departments, and I know he spends a lot of nights out watching different games, so really appreciate it. So it was a great honor for him, and as well as the district. Is Lucas Johnson our student union representative in the audience? He is not. He is not here this evening? All right. Then we will get to our section for our favorite section of the month, it's student of the month. We have an elementary winner, and a middle school winner, and a high school winner. And each principal is going to get a chance to kind of talk about the child. But also, before they talk about the child, I also want them to incorporate some little update on what your school is currently doing to meet the board goals. Because each month, I think it's important that the board hear some of us what we're doing in our schools. Just a brief summary of how we're reaching our goals that we established. So, I'm going to start with Mr. Swartz. Thank you, Dr. Harris. Uh, I have three updates uh, uh, for Harrison Park to start the school year off. Uh, first, Last week, the school had our reading treasure map celebration. We had various activities uh, for the kids that celebrated over 375 students completing their optional uh, summer reading. So it's about 75% of our kids did the op optional reading over the summer. So we were very pleased. Uh, additionally, we had 650 kids come to the school over the summer to, to participate in our school's open library session. Uh, that was a session we opened the library up for two hours. Uh, on Thursdays, and we had 650 kids uh, participating in that. So over the six-week uh, 
program. So we're very excited. Uh, both activities were a huge success and a great, great way to start off our school year. So, um, Second, the teachers had an in-service training from the IU on analyzing our students' data in the state's PVOS system. The training has led to many conversations on reflecting on our practices for student growth. This is going to be a focus area uh, for the school throughout the year. And third, we are proud of two of our HP teachers who presented at this year's state mass customized learning conference. Kim Lance and Devin Baya presented on concepts of our school's pod system. It was very well received and Kim and Devin uh, represented PT very well. So uh, again, we were honored to be at that conference and they did a great job uh, presenting what we're doing here at PT. And finally, I'd like to take this time to uh, introduce uh, Haley Ford uh, as our student of the month at Harrison Park. Haley, can you come on up? So Haley's a, a fifth grade student at Harrison Park. Uh, she's here with her parents, uh, John and Heather Ford, and her older brother, Tyler, who's in seventh grade at Penn Middle School. Haley enjoys school and learning new things. Her favorite subject is math and likes to learn algebra skills in our school's math room. Mrs. Smith, her teacher, stated the following. Haley is an exceptional young lady. She's not only a stellar student, but also just demonstrates superior social skills when she interacts with her peers. As a student, Haley is driven and pushes herself to exceed my daily expectations. She is always going above and beyond with her schoolwork. She is naturally inquisitive and seeks out additional work and answers when interested by subject matter. She makes you think. As a member of my fifth grade class, I have seen Haley working with struggling students. Just last week, while working on a reading assignment, I heard Haley helping a student through the task. As she took time out of her work to do this, it didn't even faze her that she would miss out on some device app time. This may not seem like a big deal, but in the eyes of many fifth graders, finishing an assignment and getting to have app time is a very big deal. She is very unselfish, which is such a rare quality to possess as a fifth grader. Her kindness, passion for learning, and laughter certainly make my classroom a better place. Outside of school, Haley is active with her equestrian team, training. She is having a great season and is competing in the state championships towards the end of the month. Haley would like to one day be an Olympic coach in the sport. She also likes to, to take archery lessons and spend time cooking with her mother. Haley is an outstanding student, possesses many of our school's core values, and is overall a great kid. On behalf of the students and staff of Harrison Park, I'd like to congratulate Haley for being the Elementary Student of the Month. a little bit of an obstacle course here. Well, congratulations, Haley. Thank you. You think you could be a math teacher someday? Yeah. So you know you'd be a really good math teacher. Thank you. And do you own your own horse? Yeah. Oh, good for you. That's the dream of many kids. Congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. Next, we have Mr. Sullivan, the principal of Trafford Middle School. Thank you, Dr. Harris. I'll start, too, with a, a brief update of what's going on at Traffic Middle School. Um, first of all, I want to say that uh, our three major programs, the STEM program, uh, our library initiative, and the uh, foreign language program are going really well. Uh, the, two, the two new teachers that travel to Trafford every day are doing a fabulous job. Teach, uh, the students are, have been speaking the language since day one. Um, really engaged, some really great things going on in those classrooms. The library, uh, we've had, uh, you know, several students in there uh, every day. Mrs. Mrs. Johnson's our new library aide. Um, instead of the red box, we have the read box in there. Uh, getting st kids interested in coming back to the, uh, the library, reading books. Uh, she started a program where we're going to offer Barnes & Noble um, uh, gift cards for students who uh, read the most in the library. So those programs are going really well. I've just finished uh, sitting with all of my uh, staff who are involved in the individual differentiated goals, um, and we appreciate uh, the training that they've had from PLN. A lot of the focus has been on, on the uh, 
Penn Literacy Network and, and how they're going to incorporate those strategies in the classroom. Uh, we've spent a lot of time in our PLC meetings already uh, discussing the depth of knowledge and how we're going to incorporate those in, in the classroom. Uh, again, I thank you. We're going to, we've uh, selected some staff members to go to the uh, Westmoreland IU here uh, shortly uh, to get some more training on that and bring that information back to the staff. Uh, we've begun to look at um, foresight data which is our first benchmark for students, will help, which will help guide instruction um, for the core subjects in the next couple of coming months. Uh, we're also uh, selecting some teachers to, again, go to a PVOS training, um, which is uh, you know, growth data. And that will be also be at you know, Westmoreland IU, so we'll be sending a team of teachers from there. So uh, we appreciate that, and uh, that's what we go on, we've got going on at Trafford right now. Like Mr. Schwartz, I'd like to uh, introduce to you Kayla Turkowski, student of the month, Trafford Middle School. Kayla. <laughs> Kayla is an eighth grader at Trafford Middle School. She's joined by her mother and father. Her sister Abby is a sophomore at the high school, and Nana's here too. <clears throat> yeah, Kayla has. Two older sisters that graduated uh, from Penn Trafford, and 18 of her first cousins also graduated from the high school. Mom said that she's the last of the clan. <clears throat> We're going to miss her at Trafford Middle School, that's for sure. Academically, she's a high honor student, currently has straight A's, and I looked at her historical grades, she's never had anything but an A. She's on a student council, she's our treasurer this year. Uh, she participates in advanced class, the classes for the last three years at Trafford Middle School and, and is currently in advanced lit, geometry, and she's taking Spanish. She's a part of our morning announcement team where they produce announcements daily and they're live, much like what you see here with all this equipment. At Trafford, she participated on the WIRC Westmoreland Interscholastic Reading Competition. Kayla is also an athlete, very active in soccer, all year round, at times playing on three different teams. She currently plays uh, starting center for the AFFC, back on the 14 girls team, uh, on 14 and under girls team. Has played with the club since she was 10. <clears throat> she plays for the Trafford Middle School team two years recently. This year has helped the team to an undefeated record. She plays for the Penn Trafford Soccer Club, played on various in-house and travel teams for nine years. She's on the Trafford Middle School track team, where she participates in the triple jump and hurdles. And she also plays for the school's volleyball team. So she's quite active, I'm proud of her green and gold. She's an avid snowboarder. She uh, tells me she was a part of uh, a team that went curling in Utah recently. She loves to read. Her favorite classes are science and art. Uh, she tells me she's interested in the biochem field in the future. A few comments from our teachers. They say that Kayla is incredibly respectful, well-behaved, self-motivated, self and is not afraid to take risks in the learning. She's incredibly kind, considerate towards all people, the students, the teachers, other staff, etc., and she was deserving of this award without giving it a second thought. Kayla is always prepared, always willing to volunteer, and takes an active part in class. She's insightful, pleasant, a definite leader. Kayla, on behalf of Trapper Middle School, we want to thank you for being who you are and making our school very special. Congratulations. <clears throat> Congratulations, Kayla. Thank you. You seem like a very busy young lady. Yes. <laughs> I bet your parents have a lot of miles on their cars. <laughs> What's your favorite sport? Soccer. All right. Well, we look forward to seeing you next year at the high school. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Representing our high school um, administration team, we have Mr. Cappuccini. Thank you, Dr. Harris. Can I call the Gans and the whole Gans family? Come on up closer so you guys can hear. Everybody up. Come on up front here, guys. Come on closer. Mrs. Lochner, Mrs. Rush. This is 
Monar, come on up. I don't want to have to yell so you guys can hear everything being said. Thank you. Uh, before we start with Aon, just a few items that are going on at the high school. When it comes to customized learning, we have a group of teachers that are getting together every week on Monday to start discussing how we can spread the customized learning throughout the high school. Some ideas have been thrown around, and for this year, they're going to try to incorporate new ninth grade teachers to help spread the customized learning. A lot of teachers are on board. I'm excited about it. Uh, there's a learning process and a learning curve, but uh, most of the teachers, I'd say all the teachers that we want to uh, get involved are on board, and we're still discussing uh, the customized learning, and it's a new concept, so there's some growing that has to come along with that as well. Mr. Inglace and I and two teachers went to Elizabeth Forward, and we saw the Zulama program. I'm not sure if you ever heard of Zulama, but the, the backbone of Zulama is learning through gaming, and it's a different process we weren't sure what it was going to look like, but we had the opportunity to look, go to EF to see how it operated. Every student that goes into the gaming program starts off with the evolution of games. And from there, it branches off to screenwriting, uh, 3D printing, also uh, game design. So it's really neat, all the different aspects to it. For this year, uh, Mrs. Corner and Mrs. Palmer will be incorporating it into their business classes just to see how it works. And our goal for next year is to actually have a gaming room with this gaming class. And we're looking to uh, incorporate the evolution of games, game making, and game design. So it's an interesting project. It is through Carnegie Mellon. So uh, it's gonna be an eye opener and a learning curve as well for the teachers, but everybody's excited. And what they saw at EF definitely got struck in a chord there. So uh, we're looking forward to what they do this year as well as next year. It supports our STEM initiative. Yeah, that's our STEM initiative. Thank you. As for the uh, uh, the data uh, part of the initiative here at Penn Traffic School District, uh, the hands-on schooling. We're looking, actually it is a data bank. Imagine a, a program that imports all the students' information and it's in one area. Everything from their Keystone scores, to Dibbles, to their uh, P, uh, PSSA scores. So now teachers can go in and look at all their information and look at their PBOS and look how we can grow these students. Actually tomorrow all the administrators are getting a uh, an in-service on it, so our goal is to get out to all the departments and spread the information about hands-on schools. So it's a one-place data bank to get all the information so we can pull up specific kids that need to show growth and we can work with them. So that is, uh, that's definitely in the future as well. I'd like to introduce our student of the month at the high school, Aon Gant. Would you please come on up? I asked a couple uh, teachers to write a few things and they wrote a lot. So I, uh, there are a few uh, high points here. Aon, he's in 12th grade. He has made a lot of accomplishments since his time here at the high school. He has changed both socially and his work style. Aon has begun working in the coffee shop his freshman year and he was one of the first employees of the coffee shop. He quickly learned his skills of inventory and janitorial work. He was able to move up at the coffee shop serving customers during his sophomore year. He was also successful with his placement. He learned how to interact with customers appropriately and stay focused on his work. When returning his junior year, he began to work at study placement at RCW. He is very successful at this setting and he has always expressed an interest in the culinary field. Because of his success at RCW, at the beginning of the school year, he was enrolled in a full-time Goodwill culinary program at Redstone Highlands. He has done tremendous at this program. He scored 95% on the ServSafe test, which he needed for individuals interested in working in the culinary field. He is now working on studying for his ServSafe test in the kitchen management, which will be very helpful for him gaining employment. He currently works in the nursing home's main kitchen, where he prepares dishes such as soups, salads, sauces for all the residents. At the staff at Redstone Highlands, he has expressed interest in applying for a permanent position after graduation, uh, working in their new bistro. Aon's final project there is to prepare and serve a multi-course meal for 20 people. Mrs. Molnar stated he is functional and he puts his best foot forward. She has had the opportunity to watch him grow as a tender of seventh grader to a confident young man he has become today. He is eager to learn, exemplifies a positive work ethic, whether it be in his English classes, in the coffee shop, or in the culinary training program at the Redstone Highlands. 
Currently, he's working the register in the morning, which is a very busy time. It starts at 7.15 in the morning. He is always a pleasant and outgoing personality, and his coworkers and customers and supervisors think fairly highly of him. Everybody, I would like to commend Aon Gann for being Penn Trafford High School student of the month. Congratulations, Aon. Thank you. Sounds like Redstone Highlands would be very lucky to have you when you yeah. graduate. Yeah. What's your favorite meal to make? Anything, any meal. Anything? Anything? You don't have yeah. a favorite food? No. Then Good for you. You need to cook. You should come up and do it. Thank well, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. the three winners and please come up with your certificates. Oh, yeah. We actually have a nice background wall for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
Question being called for. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Motion carried. May I have a motion to approve the list of bills for the month of October? Motion. So, motion by Dr. Trey. Second. Second by Mr. Leonard. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Motion carried. Um, any old business? No, old. Okay. Um, we had a brief um, executive session prior to this to discuss real estate matters. Um, so there's no time, no reason to um, meet at this point. New business. Athletics and extracurricular, Dr. Koshka. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, move to accept the following resignation. Mary Pat Arzeni, assistant volleyball coach at Trafford Middle School, effective September 29th. Second. Second by Mr. Leonard. Question. Question being called for. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Motion carried. Move to employ the following personnel. New employment is contingent upon the receipt of all necessary documentation and acceptance of Act 34, 151, and 114 waivers from the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania within 30 days. Chris Casper, 7th grade boys basketball coach at Penn Middle, effective immediately. Doug Kelly, 8th grade boys basketball coach at Penn Middle School, effective immediately. Patrick Lynn, 7th grade boys basketball coach at Trafford Middle School, effective immediately. Second. Question Second. by Mr. Petrucci. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Motion carried. Move to approve the vol following volunteer coach. All coach volunteers must have Act 34, 151, and Act 114 waivers on file with the athletic director. Larry Homan, volunteer assistant high school wrestling coach. Second. Question. Second, second by Mr. Leonard. Question. Question being called for. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Motion carried. That'll be all, Madam President. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Koshko. Mr. Katasik, Budget and Finance. Uh, thank you, Madam President. Move to authorize the administration to make payments amounting to $20,970.30 for credits earned by professional employees in accordance with the negotiated agreement. The list as presented to the board showing the individual payments due will be filed with the official minutes of this meeting. Second. Question. Second. Mr. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Motion carried. Move to approve the expenditures for the high school renovation project for the month of September 2014 as listed, according to schedule as listed. Second. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carried. Move to approve the lease agreement with Pitney Bowes for postage equipment at a cost of $314.94 a month for 60 months. Second. Second by Mr. Leonard. Question. Question, Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Motion carried. Move to approve the purchase of a van to transport our life skills and special needs students for on-the-job training. The cost of the van is approximately $31,000 and will be purchased with access funds. Second. Question. Second by Dr. Trey. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carried. Finally, move to formally approve the school resource officer agreement. Second. Second by Dr. Trey. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Motion carried. That is all, Madam President. Thank you, Mr. Kachasek. Um, buildings and ground safety, Mr. Leonard. I have nothing tonight, Madam President. Thank you, Mr. Leonard. Mr. Nemec, employee relations, negotiations, transportation. Nothing tonight, Madam President. Thank you, Mr. Nemec. Dr. Trey, food service. No report, Madam President. Thank you, Dr. Trey. Mr. Petrucci, personnel and curriculum. Thank you, Madam President. Move to approve a list of additional substitute teacher support personnel for the month of October 2014. Second. Second by Mr. Cassidy. Question. Question being called for. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Motion carried. Move to authorize administration to approve any new parent volunteers in accordance with the past practices and policies. Volunteers will be used only where the teacher and or principal approves, and the volunteers will have 
Act 34, 141 and 114, clearance is on file. Second. Second by Mr. Leonard. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion to say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Motion carried. Move the employee following personnel. New employment is a continuous employment and receipt of all necessary documentation. Extends to Act 34, 151, 114, roll. Waivers from the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania within 30 days. Melissa Cheplick, Christy Killen, and Sarah Mahaley. Second. Second by Mr. Leonard. Question. Question being called for. All in favor, um, this will be a roll call vote. All in favor, the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carried. Let me ask Dr. Harris, is anybody in the room that we just hired here? Actually, no, we don't have okay. a. I just want to give them an opportunity. Okay. Move the move to approve the following leave request. Deva Barton, Meredith Hodge, Patricia Mintz, Vera Moog, and Constant Vaskoff. Second. Second by Mr. Cassidy. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion to say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Motion carried. Move to approve the following external assignments. Cooperating professional. Heather Colbin, extern is Sarah Lochner, and spe speech pathology. The dates are the uh, January 5th to 15th to March uh, 13th to 2015, and 150, 150 hours of pathology, speech pathology. Second. Second by Dr. Kosh. Question. Question being called for. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Motion carried. Move to approve Kelsey Morgan for early release and graduation in class of 2016. Kelsey, as recommended by the high school principal and the superintendent, verification will be on file June 30, 2016, when Kelsey has fulfilled all state and district requirements for graduation in accordance with the state law and district policies. Second. Second by Mr. Leonard. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Motion carried. Move the expulsions of students EX2014150 and EX2014504. Second. Second by Dr. Curry. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Motion carried. We accept the following retirement resignations. Jan Perkins, effective January 13, 2015. Second. Question. Second by Dr. Curry. Question being called for. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Motion carried. That's all I have, Madam President. Here's Mr. Knowles' alternate. Is it Jay? Okay. Dr. Tracy. All right, Dr. All right. <laughs> Dr. Trace, <laughs> Policy, Public Relations, Legislative, Title II. Uh, move to accept the follow minutes of the Superintendent's Information Committee meeting held on Tuesday, September 2nd, 2014. Second. Second by Mr. Leonard. Question. Question being called for. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. I move to give final approval of the following revised board policies and administrative regulations as presented in the board. That these policies were tentatively approved at the September 8th, 2014 meeting. A copy of these policies and regulations will be filed for the official minutes of this meeting as listed. Second. Second by Mr. Petrucci. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Motion carried. <coughs> uh, move to tentatively approve the following revised board policies and administrative regulations as listed. Second. Second. <laughs> Second by Mr. Petrucci. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Motion carried. Um, Mr. Nemec will do taxes, insurance, and census. Thank you, Madam President. Move to appoint Mr. Lawrence M. Wojcik, Jr. as per capita and occupation residence tax collector for the 2014-15 year. Second. Second by Mr. Leonard. Question. Question. Question being called for. This will be a roll call vote. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Motion carried. That is all I have, Madam President. Thank you, Mr. Neiman. Uh, Mr. Brungo, solicitor's report. Uh, Madam President, there is no report this evening. Okay. 
Mr. Rainier, PTEA representative. I do have one thing tonight. Uh-oh. Uh, I wish my good friend Mr. Lego was here to answer this. But um, in the event that the spat here between Highmark and UPMC uh, doesn't come to a conclusion and uh, our Highmark people are out of network, is there any possibility of a contingency plan where we might bring in an outside carrier, just us, not, not necessarily a consortium, it, are we legally allowed to do that? To bring in another carrier? I know that the consortium signed an exclusive agreement with Highmark, but I'm just wondering, and I'm not trying to renegotiate anything or anything like that, but you know, we're going to probably have some members that are going to be left out in the dark. I mean, there might even be some people sitting here in this room now. Uh, I think if you started treatment, you know, they're trying to get to an agreement. I'm not sure if they will. Um, Dr. Koshka may need more. I understand if you already started treatment with a UPMC doctor and now you're continuing with Highmark, right. that they have to continue through 2015. I got a letter in the mail just yesterday that said there are a couple of conditions and pregnancy and things like that. I'm just saying bringing in a universal carrier like Aetna or... You're right, that's what a lot of companies or, or, are doing that. Or, or whoever. I just, I know that the consortium signed with just high mark. And most of my members are very happy with that. I'm just saying, is there anything, you know, anything again legally that we can't do that would say, hey, Aetna, come, come on in. And, uh, you know, the, the people that want UPMC access, if they want to pay for Aetna, they can, they can go to Aetna. Um, or UPMC, which, by the way, I, I had talked with UPMC people myself, and uh, I kind of thought that they blew me off, to be quite honest with you. They didn't seem to want uh, our business, but um, just just a question. Because, I, would, uh, well, I would have thought this would have worked itself out by now. But Would you know what Allegheny County Consortium is doing in this same situation, Al Sean? Allegheny County also, uh, UPMC basically would not talk to them. Well, so what are they doing to, to solve the problem? I mean, because I know some places are bringing know, in that now. There's, there's, no there's, plan, there's no plan B. They're just hoping that they work things out. So I don't know. I can just see, especially down there in Allegheny County, if this goes a month into you know, yeah. January, February, they're going to have some people that are going to sure. make a stink about this. So I, I still think it's a game of chicken they're playing. But, um, you know, I'm just saying, would it hurt to bring in another carrier to say, hey, you have access to UPMC? And if board members want to go with you for no extra cost, uh, we can ask Mr. Mr. Anyways or Dr. Harris to get in touch. Yeah, that's a very good West question. Westmore County Consortium to see if uh, yeah, you would have to talk. have a plan B of some kind or other, just in case it does occur. Yeah, you would have to but, talk to the consortium to see what limitations you have and what the responsibilities are in your relationship with the consortium as far as bringing in uh, an outside a, a carrier. Uh, that, of course, is something that if you're able to do that because you're not limited by the, the consortium. Right. That's something that would be a decision between the association and the district, and you essentially would be opening the contract uh, for purposes of negotiating terms and conditions of that of that coverage. That's all I have. Thank you. All right, thank you. Good question, Doug. Um, Dr. Koska, you have anything to add to that? Do you know? No. What you I think like everybody in the room, everybody's sitting and waiting, you know, what, from our organization, what we're doing is we're planning that they're not going to work it out. That's the most Just, people are planning. If you see what happened, what the literature and the paper is and the way they're approaching each other, to your point earlier, um, they're playing chicken, but I, I, we don't anticipate them working it out. And you doubt? No. But you never know. Well, then what happens if they don't work it out? So what happens is if you're a Highmark member, you can't go to UPMC only hospital. You can go to what they call the donut hospitals that are basically everybody around them that accepts both insurances. Same for Highmark as well. But if you have UPMC insurance, you can go anywhere. Not to Highmark. No, you can't. You can't go to Highmark? No, you can't. Oh, no, no, there's... No. Okay. You, you can go. They're shutting each other out. But yes. You're gonna, exactly. You're going to pay. Like if you're UPMC, you can't go to Forbes, I don't think. Nope. Was there any way that we could seek the answer that he's requesting regarding bringing in a private carrier? Is that something you Well, I think, it, like you said, it's probably a Brett question that he asked. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, I have it down, Sean. I'll make sure we go. Yeah, I just don't, like I said, I, I don't know that, I, I'm wondering legally if we can bring in an outside carrier, which this was a, a topic in the past 10 years ago, and we, we did bring somebody else in. And uh, the consortium couldn't really hold that up, but 
you know, this would only be for this instance where you, know, you might have people that want access to, there are some carriers that give you access to everything. Mm -hmm. Aetna, Aetna is one of them, and that's, they're advertising that. Yeah, I, I call our, I've made a few calls to different people at the state, and I said, what do you think the chances of them working it out? And they said, uh, not, not at all. And they said that we've been kind of spoiled around here because lots of parts of this country have this division. We just not, we're just not used to it. I don't think that's a really good excuse. I don't excuse. think it's going to affect us as much as, like Mr. Petrucci said, with Allegheny County because, yeah. you know, I, I can't imagine what they're going to do. Yeah, they got a different problem. All right. Uh, thanks. That's a good question. Um, any other business, any other topics of discussion? Yeah, once again, I'd like to thank the video. We have six people, <laughs> seven people over there. Hey, they did good. I think we have one-on-one -on -one cameras, so thank you. <laughs> All right, that being said, do I have a motion for adjournment? Motion. First by Mr. Lennon. Second? Second. Second by Mr. Okay. Trucy. All right, this meeting is adjourned at 747.